In another video, I explained the mathematics behind a catenary. That uh, a catenary, the shape of a catenary is given by a hyperbolic cosine function or the cos function. So basically, a catenary is uh, it's a shape that uh, when you hang uh, a chain or, uh, or a string, say like uh, this one, so if you hang a string up to your set it down a bit so the shape is uh, what we call a catenary. So I, I had a little demonstration in that video, but uh, it was not very clear. So I want to make another one and prefer a larger printout of the cos function and the sinh function, which is hyperbolic sine function. So basically this one, the, the, blue, the blue curve is the cos function, actually cos function minus one, because I want to bring it, the curve down when x is zero and one y equals to zero, but uh, the cos function when x is zero is one. So I need to subtract by one, basically move the curve down by one. And then the sine curve is a uh, uh, wet curve. Okay, so I put it on together. All right, so the math, saying that uh, is the, the shape of a catenary is given by the cos function. So I print out the, this curve. Actually, the file is uh, just this one, but I blow it up uh, in this one. So this file I imposed, I posted it um, online. So you can download this file and you can play with the demonstration yourself. Okay, so now you want to find a chain and it's better to use a chain. I'll kind of explain that a little bit. Uh, you find a chain, if you hang it out uh, like that, you can test whether the shape of this, the, the chain is given by this hyperbolic cosine function. And it's best to pin it down so that uh, you don't need to carry it uh, using, using the hands. Okay, so. Oops, oops, don't let it tangle. So make it long enough. So hang it on one side of the curve, like hitting the boundary. So one side, and then uh, you need to adjust uh, the length of this chain, and then try to get the set it down to not oxidate that much and then find a appropriate length so that uh, the chain is kind of on top of the blue curve. So it's about this, about here. So you can find the location that you can pin the chain, okay, let me see it. Show it again. So it's about that. Moving it a little bit here, so here. So pin it down. Okay, so in the setup. Now you can see that the the chain is very much on top of the, the blue curve. So you see that the, the, this is the cost function. The blue curve is the cost function minus one. And this is the, the chain, the shape of the chain or the catenary is given by this function. And when you print it, I'll make sure that this, this each uh, unit in X and Y are the same, same length when you print it out. So, so a one by one output uh, in, the, in the paper must be a square with that that need to be, uh, you need to make sure that to do for this demonstration. Okay, so that is the uh, a category to, to, to check that. If you don't have a, a chain, you can try a, a, a string or a rope, but uh, it's, it's not as good because uh, the physics behind this is uh, this, uh, this string must be, uh, flexible and, and not elastic, it's not 
uh, you cannot have a tank uh, somewhere. So if you use a, a finite verb, a string, usually this is not exactly you know, uh, flexible, it some, have some kind of elasticity. And basically you can test that by uh, putting it together. You see that it doesn't go straight down. It has some kind of uh, curve. You have a loop, you form, actually form a loop. It's very hard to find a string that doesn't do that, but uh, a chain, you can do that. If you, if you have a chain, if you put it together to end together, it, it goes straight down. See, it goes straight down. So uh, that uh, it means that it doesn't have, to, uh, it's flexible enough for this demonstration, but you can try. It still give a pretty good, uh, uh, close enough for the demonstration for, if you print it out large enough, for a smaller, for a smaller printout, it might not work that well because of this curvature thing. So, uh, you put try this string on here. I bought bracket, and so you see that you adjust the length a little bit. The string is still very much on top of the uh, cost function, so that. Uh, kind of uh, in demonstration, you can find another string. You see, this is this may not be that good because it has a more obvious kink, but you can try it. This is shorter string, but then you can still see that it's still pretty good uh, compared with the cost function. And uh, if you, don't have a large printout, you can test using the, the little, the small printout and say you can use, use a sort of chain to do that. And you can kind of just put it on, adjust the location where you hold the, 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 the two ends. And you can see that uh, when you adjust it a little bit, uh, the chain actually is still, uh, you probably not, cannot see it that good. Or you can use use this one. So you can see that and you know, I broke the camera. So you can see that uh, the chain is pretty much on top of the uh, cost cost uh, function and. When you do that, if you print that out and you want to tape it on a, a wall and, or a, a, if you have a bulletin board, uh, put it on and so that you can pin, you can, using a pin to put, uh, pin the string on the curve. So of course, make sure that your board, you can pin a hole on it, but uh, you tape it and make sure that the vertical line is, uh, the y-axis is, is vertical. So you can test it by, so if you hang a, a, a string, then you can go straight down. You see that the, the y-axis, have it set it down a little bit. The y-axis is vertical. So you need to make sure that otherwise it doesn't work. So, uh, so you can use, a, use the small one to test it also. And one more thing is that the, this demonstration is that not just the shape is given by the cos function or hyperbolic cosine function, the length of this curve, this cardinally, is actually given by the sinh function. And we can test that also. Say uh, the length, the total length, say for, from this point all the way to like the, the origin, this point zero, zero, this origin, the total length is given by the value of the sinh function at this point. So basically it is from here to here. So this, this red, red, the red curve is the sinh function. The blue curve is the cos function. So now you can test whether from here, the cardinal from this point to the origin is given by this value, say from this point vertical to this, this point, you can test that. And to test that, uh, you want another pin to pin the origin first. So you like uh, put it down here. So pin down the origin so that you know uh, where is 
where to start the measurement. So this is the so this is the origin, and this is the the curve that it hit this axis. X equals to three. Okay, so take it. Oh, make sure you keep track of where the location is. So it's from here. So and put it down, put it also from here. Okay, and do the same thing for, for this end. Make sure that you keep track of the location here. Okay, and you, okay, take this out. Test from Y from zero here. And measure the total length. You see that the, from zero to here is given by the location of the red curve. Okay, so it means that this the length the, the, the length of this string from here to here the blue curve from here you measure the length of the blue curve from here to here is given by the value of the sinh function from here to here the vertical line. So, yeah. Okay, so that's uh, another mathematical property that you can test. And you can do that for the small curve also. It's a little bit difficult. So if you do the same thing, pin it up, pin the chain, the one end at the origin, the other end, adjust it a little bit on the blue curve, like at the x equals to three. So adjust it a little bit. So that, uh, so it's, so that the chain is on top of the blue curve and then take it out and then measure the length by like one end at y from zero, the, the, the bottom line and measure the vertically, see what the value, the value is given by the blue, the location of the blue curve when you hit x equals to three, the x equal to three vertical line. So you see that the, this curve, the length of this curve, the blue curve is given by the, sin, the value of the sinh function as three. So it is from here to here. Okay, so that's uh, another thing you can test uh, even using the small printout. So uh, I hope you enjoy this demonstration. So 